Okay, so as you can probably hear in my voice, I haven't really been feeling very well all this week. And so we were supposed to do a bunch of stuff on the bus, but we didn't get around to it. But my dad is in town and he's helped us a little bit. We've been sanding some wood for the ceiling in the front portion of the bus. And Justin's been working on electric and he's been doing really well because it looks like um, we are going to try and turn everything on for the first time today and see what kind of juice the solar panels have been soaking in so yeah thought I'd bring you along and um, see if we need to use the fire extinguisher or if it's a mad success who knows we'll see but uh, yeah anyhow here we go this is my dad that's your new camera yup and you're gonna be on <laughs> YouTube Film now XT2 XT20 yup <laughs> he's from Egypt and grew up in Cairo. I live in Washington. And you're yeah. like an architect. I'm an architect and I'm renovating a house so, so this I is can very help fitting. you guys. This is right up my alley. <laughs> Meanwhile, been... uh, are, you, are you ready? Uh, I figured it would be good to get it on camera in case you set the bus on fire. <laughs> <laughs> what is that for? Battery temperature monitor. Um. Oh man, guys, you ready for some fireworks? The batteries are good. All right, let's get the uh, fire the extinguisher. Battery? Where would the fire go off inside, or well, on the batteries, or what? We need like one person inside and one person outside. It could be anywhere where there's wires and connection points. All right, just hold it. Came with the bus. Uh, give it a little shake. <laughs> This one's new. That one's when you bought for your How house. does it even work? You just pull that red toggle out? Yeah, pull the red. Pull, aim, yep. and What's pass. <laughs> or something. Like yeah, that. he's got so it. So pull this, aim it, and aim then squeeze it? And squeeze. Yeah. Alright, I'm about to turn this sucker on. Ooh, it's flashing. Is it supposed to make a noise and that fan go and stuff? Or I guess you have to turn it on. So how do you know the batteries are charged? Let's find out. Come on in front of me. Let's see what it says. Input voltage zero. Battery voltage 12.3. Output load zero. Output voltage zero. <laughs> Let me see the screen. What's the input? Oh, our batteries are pretty charged. Input is zero right now. <laughs> Because the inverter is the only thing on. All right, here we go. All right, it goes from the inverter. Let's see what we're doing. We're going working backwards up. And so, let's see. This goes down. This is our battery, so we're going to turn this on. We're going to turn this on. What do we not need? We don't need our water pump on this what all do we have okay we don't need this that's our light one of these is our fan what is this to purple or is it black yeah this is to our fan you were the one that said you were going to remember it all black. you don't remember it yeah this is on all right now we turn our dc on Alright, we're looking good so far. No alarm, no fault. Wait, so the LED lights should work? Potentially. Yeah, I gotta go hook up the uh, solar. Oh, the solar's not even hooked up? No, that's the last thing you're supposed to hook up. Why? Because it's hot. The electrical... This, the PV panels are always putting out energy. And so... If you hook those up first and there's nowhere for the energy to go, you can cause a problem. But you need to hook the batteries up first and go backwards. Okay. The same way when you turn it off, you need to start at the panels and go backwards. So you have a switch in that box up there? I have. So every time you want to turn the solar panels on and off, you have to climb up there? No. Um, there's a switch inside. But? Well, right now, this is the first time doing it, so this is just for safety reasons. Don't get oh, electric, you did. <laughs> been waiting for this. So then it'll start having electric as an input? Yeah. Ta-da! Nice. Now what? 
We need to check our readings. Oh yeah, look at that. Wait. Charge. What do you got? Oh, okay. <laughs> PV, 30 volts. Wow. 27 watts. Yep. We are in business. I think we're in business. I gotta look through all of this. Down there. Just giving our output and our input voltage. Yeah, and that's not even your maximum. Yeah. Yeah. I need to figure out what all of these mean, but there's no alarms, nothing's cut, no breakers have come off. We're looking good. Now, first thing we can check to see if this actually worked. Is this connected? Yeah, it is. It is not working. It's not working. Oh, man. Are you sure that you have it um, hooked up? The orange and like the light blue one? Yeah, it's hooked up right here. Unless it broke the leaves. Uh, no, that's good. But it's the orange one too. Yeah, this is just like grounding. Did I see light? Read that and figure out how to use it. What is it? The instructions? Yeah. Do you have a voltage? Okay, now tell what, what happened. This is what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> we turned the electric on and it was very anticlimactic. It's not, well, I can't really smell anyways. <laughs> it's very anticlimactic um, because there was no power to all appliances and fans and lights and everything. So there's volts but no amps. I don't know. Honestly, I think he it's, has to figure it, it out. has to do with the inverter, I think. Something going on with the inverter. It's trying to cut on but then it automatically cuts off whenever the fan truck starts to start up. Anyway, I got a lot of reading to do. Anyway, yeah. we've turned it on. That's one success. And so nothing works, but we'll figure it out. You know, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Troubleshoot. Troubleshoot. All right, I'm going to go rest and prep because we're having a go. pizza party. Oh. I finished these boxes. Nice job. <laughs> Took forever. I don't know why. Maybe because it's so small and finicky. Justin is now wiring them. So this one goes inside the sofa and is going to have a connection to that electrical strip so that we can charge anything that we don't necessarily need out while it's charging um, and like storage for all our electrical stuff and wires and all this kind of stuff. So that's all right now in that bag. The other one that I built goes under here. By the way, we haven't even said, we've officially moved into the bus. I moved everything in like a couple days ago. We've now spent two nights in the bus and it's friggin' awesome. What do you think, babe? Oh yeah, the mattress is like freaky skinny. It's like this thin, but it's like the comfiest mattress ever. It's basically a futon mattress and it's able to be like folded so we can use it for our sofa slash mattress. Um, set up in the back in our bedroom but so we moved in and this will be our third night sleeping on the bus it's definitely not finished and definitely needs way more work um, but it's looking good for right now so I will give you a brief tour we have our <laughs> Jungalo at the front. It's these LED lights that Justin has been working super hard to get set up so that they run. So they're at least giving us light at night for right now. And here is our sofa set up right now that he is working hard to get complete so we can have a plug. And we'll eventually have a table here. Um, and then we put this carpet down so that when we're walking around and it's been raining a lot outside We're not trekking in all this water. So that's kind of like our doormat just to keep the cork from getting ruined more jungle and some wood that is gonna go in the ceiling back in the bedroom My yoga mat Kitchen sink. We don't have running water just yet, but we will hopefully by the end of this week 
Um, so under here is like all trash and recycled. Um, cat food and our new hot water um, heater that we ended up getting that still needs to get vented out the side. So we painted that with chalkboard paint. So that is a chalkboard that we can write on and put grocery lists and stuff like that on. Up here is going to be our pantry. So we'll still need to get another one of those to go here on this window. And then the whole wall is going to be all tiled. And then we still have to finish the back of this cabinet here. Um, right now we just have a little baby propane tank that we're going to use until we finish running the propane that's going to hook up at the back of the bus. Um, this is another countertop that needs to get finished because you can see there's still like a bunch of big grooves in this surface. So we need to fill that and make sure that no food gets stuck down under there. Um, right now it's a shit show under here, but there's our appliances and um, big cooking bowls and strainers and salad spinners and all that good stuff. But eventually we'll have all the like cook stuff will go under here. Um, and over on this side right now is where we're keeping all our plates and bowls and cups and stuff. And then some more jaws and whatnot at the back. There'll be some baskets there so that everything stays secure. Um, commode, the glamour of our life right now. And where the kitties make their commode business. Um, this is going to eventually have a door here. That will shut um, so that it swings around to close off the shower. But for right now... This is like where we have toiletries and cleaning supplies and jewelry stuff and yeah and then eventually that will have a light bulb and the switch for it is right there. So like I said there'll be a door so the door will swing like that and shut off this whole wall here and this is going to be our shower. And a friend of ours is making us some tiles, so there'll be custom tiles going up here. And then we'll have some type of like custom valve system so that we can have a shower head that's going to go up and into the ceiling. And where all these lines are is going to be a huge cut because we're going to put a skylight in there that's raised up a little bit to make a dome effect so that we have extra headroom. And some light where it's kind of all dark and stuff here. Oh yeah, here's our fridge. I totally forgot. This is where all the like bakeware is going to go. So it'll be a bunch of flour and all kinds of sugar. Anyways, so you'll have to step through the shower into this like Moroccan tile space. Um, into the boudoir. So for right now, this is kind of how it's looking. Oh yeah, okay, hold on. So the LEDs are kind of awesome. So we have these remotes and they have like 66 buttons I think on them. So you can turn them on and the bedroom lights are on a different circuit than these lights. So like these can be off while these are on. So, and then <clears throat> we can have like some pretty awesome settings. So like this is our boudoir color. This is our get zen but happy and rainbow color. <laughs> and then this is our like rave <laughs> party get down as is this one. <laughs> this one too. This is we wish we were still going to Huluween this year but we're not because this is happening. <laughs> But that's okay, I'm still excited about that. Let's just chill this out for a second. Anyway, so we just got those lights off Amazon and that's what those are. So this is the bedroom as is right now. It's obviously not pushed back into a sofa um, like form. Um, for right now, we're just using it as a bedroom. So in theory, like this all pushes back. And then I had just been building this today. Um, this is like a swinging bassinet for our baby and we have storage underneath all along there and then underneath the bed in this whole back section that you can access from outside but I think we're also gonna like 
put baskets and then build a little bit more um, of a storage space. Because right now, this is Justin's closet um, with all his shirts and stuff. And then he has winter gear under the bed. And then all his like pants are here and then a pair of shoes. And behind that is all electrical. His pride and joy. <laughs> And this is my closet. So I have like all my undies and stuff up there. And I have clothes that I hang here. And then this is pretty much everything that's foldable. Um, but right now it has nowhere to go. So like those things would go in a couple of baskets. Um, that I was hoping would go here in the front portion of my closet. Other than that we have the bookshelf. The baby's bed. Or bed. Oh yeah here let me show you how how thin this is so yeah it's really not very thick but it's like memory foam so it's pretty comfortable um oh yeah and then the closets will also have doors that swing kind of like saloon style so they'll both swing to close off the shower from this side so here's a pretty awesome tour of the bus as it is right now so we still have the ceiling to do, plumbing to finish, the shower tiling to do, the floor in the toilet room, the floor in the rest of the bus, and sand these edges down. We have to do this front portion. There's probably going to be some storage over here in the front above the driver's seat. We still have to attach this to the wall. Basically everything. <laughs> no, everything. And then we still have to finish this underneath the sofa. And then I have to f do the finishing for this. As well as get everything kind of road ready. Because right now we're not moving anywhere. And so things could really easily fall off if we were on the road. There'll be a piece of wood that's going to run across here. And then these also need to get attached. And then across the bookshelf there'll be some type of galvanized piping. And then don't forget about the outside of the bus. We haven't even... <laughs> We haven't even touched the outside, but we'll get to it eventually. Um, do some sanding and all that good stuff. I'm hungry. Uh, me too. I'm waiting on you. Can you do this one so that I can make my smoothie? I can't. Um, here at the kitchen? It doesn't really matter. I have to finish them all before I can turn it on. So. Oh, damn. Are you serious? Well, never mind. I guess I'll just keep waiting. Hold well down. Sweet. Anyways, other than being hungry, how do you feel? Yeah, stoked to be in this awesome new home. We now officially live in a bus. You know, I went to go to the doctor today and uh, they asked me where I lived and I was like, oh, I live in a bus out in this area. And uh, the guy was like, out of choice. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> out of choice. Uh, what would the other option be? Like out of no choice? Like I had to be forced to live on a bus. Help me. <laughs> but yeah, this is out of choice choosing to live. <laughs> in a bus.